Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this simple 3D tracking in After Effects. This is about 5 minutes, so it's pretty easy, and let's go! For the beginning, open your footage in the composition, and now we will create the mask for the object that we will track. For this, go to new, solid, and we can name it like as we want. Click OK, uh, make the solid invisible, then go to the pen tool and draw the simple mask, just according to the contour of our object. Now just go to solid, masks, mask again, mask path, make a keyframe for zero frame, and go to the one second and edit our mask just, just like this, no need to make it ideal. And so on for the second second, second second, how can I say it? Okay, and so on for the each second during the our composition. And nice, the most boring part is almost done. Uh, now make the solid visible again, make the mask subtract, and just make sure that our mask is perfect for the each frame. For example, here the mask isn't perfect, so let's edit the mask a little. Now let's make our footage the more contrast and sharpen, and it will help to make our tracking better. So for this, let's add the effect curves, and edit it just like me. And now you can see the result, and you can duplicate the effect if you have the footage that have small contrast. <laughs> now let's effect sharpen and set the value approximately 200. Nice. So now let's just precompose our two layers and set uh, the second option and name it as you want again. So now go to the track, track camera, go to advanced and click detailed analysis, analysis, analysis. You understand me. And now we just need to wait. So see you guys after tracking. So perfect, tracking is done, but we have one more small deal. Go to the precompose, make the solid invisible again, and remove all effects from our footage. Nice. So now we can see all track points that we have, and let's select it. For this, hold left mouse button and select all this. Now click right mouse button and create solid and camera. Nice. And in this moment our tracking is already done, but let's continue and I will show you some more things. Let's add a grid effect, and now we can see that our solid is attached to our phone. But also we can see that it has incorrect position, so let's fix it. For this go to the our solid, rotation, and just edit it as we need. And now it's perfect. So now let's begin the most interesting part. Part. Let's add some 3D objects that I have prepared for this scene. Guys, in the future I will create the more detailed tutorial about Element 3D, but now all you need to know is how to parent your 3D object to solid. For this go to the group 1, create group now and click create. Nice. Uh, now just holding shift, let's parent it to our solid. Let's increase the scale of our null, and now we can see that our 3D object is attached to our phone. And now let's just rotate it by 90 degrees. Perfect. And in this case I have the tennis balls that are in group 2, so let's create the null for this group. And parent it to our solid just like the first one. Nice. And let's just edit it. For example, for this scene I will create the rotation animation for our balls, just like this. As the result guys, I have this scene, I think it's nice. And if you like this tutorial, 
just subscribe on my channel and press the like button. In the future I will create more tutorials about Element 3D, about VFX and some, some of this stuff. So see you guys in the next one.